The first item on the agenda is to approve the minutes of the October 25th, 2016 regular meeting. Mr. Chairman, I'll move item one. I'll second this motion, Mr. Chairman. We have a motion and a second. Any questions or comments on the minutes of last Tuesday's meeting? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Item one carries. Item number two is to receive and place on file drainage repairs, and we have none. I have a question about it. Well, sure. Ready? Yep. When I was out pheasant hunting, and uh, yeah, I'm on the shoot and release program, so I didn't get it. But be that as it may, when I was walking, I found a uh, fever dam. Mm -hmm. Is that the responsibility of the landowner or the uh, drainage district folks to report that? Did you turn it in? No, because I'm not a landowner, nor am I part of that role. Well, it's your responsibility to maintain the district. Well, so the drainage is Yeah, that's the next question. I think the first thing you do is make it, so, so check and see if they got a permit there. A permit. It's for them to build the dam. They're building it. Yeah. Okay. So so first, okay. And after that, I think that's the body. A monitor. Okay. Good picking on Bob. Thanks, Mike. Moving on. If I you can locate it, Bob. Thanks for that answer. No, we need to have it turned in right away. What? They, 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 they don't know it's there, so we do need to have it turned in. By whom? By you. I mean, I guess, even though I'm okay. okay. We'll look at Well, then we do have a report. Do you know where you can get it turned in? <laughs> no. Well, then they can get it. No? That'll be next week. Next week. Moving on. Is there anything else? I have number three. Is the place? To accept and place on file the hiring and employment of Cindy Cartwell, dental hygienist at the rate of $30 per hour, effective November 1st, 2016, per recommendation of Carrie Prescott, public health director. I'll move by number three. Second. Motion and a second. Questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Item three carries. Item number four is to approve and place on file the hiring and employment of Nicholas Madison, Part-time correctional officer at the rate of 15, 16 per hour, effective November 1st, 2016, per recommendation of Steve Elbert, jail administrator. So moved. Second. Motion and a second. Any questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Item four carries. Item number five is to approve wage increase for Brooke Kammerer from $12 to $12.50 per Hour effective November 9, 2016, per recommendation of Carrie yeah. Prescott, Public Health Director. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, I'll move by the five. I'll second your motion, Mr. Chairman. We have a motion and a second. Any questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? <coughs> Item number six is to approve and authorize to sign. Copy or lease agreement for emergency management. That would be chair. Just like number five would be Carrie, not yeah, Harry. Yeah. My <laughs> proofreader is sleeping. Okay. <laughs> All right. Approved and authorized chair to sign copy or lease agreement for emergency management. Okay. I'll move on number six. I'll second that. Motion and a second. Scott? Management coordinator, uh, September 15th at our commission meeting uh, presented to the board that we needed to replace a copier. Um, I made a, a pitch to either purchase one or do a lease. Um, Telecom had recently did a lease with advanced systems, um, I believe the month before, uh, to keep things kind of the same. That's what we went with. Um, I do. I did get a recommendation from IT for Western County that this was a good, an okay system. Uh, the commission did not ask for any bids at this time, um, and they went ahead and voted to do a lease with Advanced Systems for fifty nine dollars a month for over sixty month. Scott, does that include the maintenance agreement? Yes, that, that includes everything. Um, just for the record, too, uh, there are other county departments that have bought or leased uh, from advanced systems. So I'm just curious, I mean, I know, why don't we bid those out? And you'll have to ask the commission why they didn't ask to bid that. I'm just representing from the commission, so. 
Do you think that if, if so Mr. Reed still to this or Mr. Reed is the supplier of this? Yes, position? correct. And you run it for kind of supervisor? Yes. Correct. So do you think that's a conflict? Um you have to I guess we're nice up having the parties that have uh, leased this. Uh, again this commission voted on this on September fifteenth of this year, so I don't know what his status was at that time. So in my understanding is you already have this? Uh, you have this correct. Andy, can I ask you um, the system that that we're moving or what you've been authorized today? Um, it's this um, fit in with what, what else we've done um, in terms of copiers. Yes, in, um, it, yes, it does. It uh, um, we've got probably four or five departments now that do have systems in advance, including myself. Um, they were not presented by Mr. Reed, but um, he, you know that I don't know that that's a conflict at this time. It's really um, that's for you guys to decide, I guess. Um, but uh, I don't see an issue with it. When you, when other departments have done copyright agreements, have have they been done through a, a solicited bid? Yes. We, we do, and, and we uh, normally put out what specifications that we're looking for. Mm -hmm. You know, like if, if engineers, you know, they like they like specific things on their copiers. They want like an envelope tray, so on and so forth. So not all machines can handle that. So it's kind of limited who you can go with. Um, I don't know what the specifications here was, you know, but uh, we normally try to at least include two to three. I just that, that is my recognition. Any yeah. department that comes to me and wants to, to look at a new system. Now, whether they come to me beforehand or afterwards, it's, it, I, I have no control with that. So I guess I don't have a problem with, with advanced systems or being recommended to get from there. I just wish it was bid, and since he's running the supervisor, you know, and we didn't get a bid without an attorney here to say if that's a conflict or not. You know, I don't know. You know, I'm, since we didn't get a bid, did you just. This tax I'm unfortunate this time, it, 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 and maybe it, the commission doesn't understand the process that we like to go here and make something you need to address. At this time, the machine is on our network, it is functioning on our network. So at this point, it, I would recommend you go ahead and approve it, but you may want to, for further down the road, is to remind all the commissions, all the boards, that this is something that we can, needs to happen. If this process needs to happen this way. Needs to be brought before the board before any agreements are signed, before any machines are purchased or brought on site. Well, I think we have two challenges, though. One, I do agree it should have been bid. And two, we shouldn't be receiving equipment before we signed off on it. I, I agree. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that maybe that was not known to the commission or maybe to Scott at the time that this should have happened this way. But I, I, yeah. I, at this point, it's already on our system. So, Make it as you want, I, but I would. I, 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 could I ask you now that we have you on the hot seat here? <laughs> I do not care. Um, as you look at as you look at the uh, the piece of equipment and what we were talking about for a, a lease amount, is you feel this is a fair? Uh, uh, this is very minimal to for most. Um, so you feel this is a fair? Yes. Mark rate because it, it, would, it would include toner. It would include. Uh, the maintenance of the machine itself. So, yes. Does it include Mr. Reed getting the commission for selling this? I have no idea. Well, you know, that's what happened in regards to selling. Yeah. I know. So, it, 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 you know, I don't know. Maybe this was something that started before. Uh, Jim Point been with the company for a year, about a few months. So, it may have been the process that started before. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. This, I don't know the complete how, what, how it started here. But what I'm saying is, it doesn't make a difference to read if it was if it was access systems, if it was uh, um, Infomax or um, uh, Marco. I'm sure there's some commission there. And, and again, I'm okay with somebody getting a commission on it. My issue is we have taxpayer dollars that are being spent without a competitive bid process. And we have that equipment on site, nobody signed for it. And I, I agree with that. 
process is not the way the county wants to do these things. Um, that being said, um, I would like to say that I believe it would be in everybody's interest to continue on signing the agreement. Uh, our IT department has said it seems to be a fair arrangement. Um, can we put this, put this behind us? Because otherwise, we create a lot of cost inconvenience for both our IT department and our uh, vendor. Don't want to do that. Um, but the big thing, we need to have emergency management understand that we're extremely unhappy for this process. Um, may I say something, Clark? My commission is made up of every mayor in this county, or in the county, of the cities, uh, the sheriff, and also one of your board of supervisors. Um, so if the commission you know, needed that addressed, that should have been done. I just represent the commission. I represent that. I'm not, I'm saying, I'm saying that when I say emergency management, I, I mean emergency management the commission staff. I'm not saying to you personally. I believe that these boards do need to understand, these commissions do need to understand that we do represent the, the taxpayer, and we do want to make sure that we're getting, you know, the best use of our money. And so please don't take it personally. That's, 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 I'm just, just I mean, why did the other explain what makes up my commission? And I would hope that you would take this back to your commission and say, yep. in the future, we need to do this differently. Yep. And, uh, and especially, then he's concerned would be a new point, because <coughs> genuine competitive low bid, there is no contract of interest. And no question. So it just looks really bad. It's I mean and no competitive bid and the fact that it's here. Okay, and just again the reason that was, was brought up is because telecom was also approved that before we wanted to keep it consistent. Because we were kind of hand in hand with telecom and 901 so we wanted to keep the same system basically. Um, and that's why that one was presented because they just put that in. So
employee, manager, owner, has there ever been a time when a provider has also been running for county supervisor? Can you understand? I just, I wouldn't know that that's a really good question. You can't answer that. Well, you, you talked about past performance. This uh, candidate for supervisor thing does seem to be a little bit of a wild card. Uh, boy, I've been around here a long time, but I can never think where that happened before. And, you know, I, my thing may not have been running, but I can tell you that um, you know, this county supervisor has been a provider of materials to the county. It's all done through the old bid. Your business? Yes. Okay, your business. Okay. My business has been. And it's all done through the old bid. Sure. Not, and, and that's, I think, that goes to Keith's or Gregor's comment why wasn't this put out the bid? Because then that would put that issue behind us. Because every, every elected Thank you. 
month will be a levy. We'll see what uh, I anticipate to continue to go down. Um, I mean, they're just, things are looking pretty good on that front. The next thing was I want everybody to know that Bob was being social at the Land Works uh, Foundation fundraiser. This poor sucker was attending a four hour meeting. CFR is doing very well. I enjoyed money. Did you? Yeah. Did you? Okay. We got daily bars. Anyway, CFR is doing very well. Um, I got to do a couple fun things this, this past week. Uh, the fireball run crew was here and got to entertain them a couple of nights. Uh, we took them up to the ATV park, gave them a ride on the ATVs, and showcased the town a little bit on other activities for them. I believe it's probably a 99% chance that they are coming here, so everybody's going to be asked to participate in this. They're coming in the middle of September. There'll be two, 300 people coming into the town. It's a Universal Studios production, so it's going to be a pretty big thing to showcase our city. So it's going to be a lot of community support and a lot of people volunteering to help out with this thing because there's 80, 80 teams coming to participate in this travel and trivia show. So it's going to be something pretty nice to showcase our town. Mark and I attended the governor's pheasant hunt banquet Friday night. Uh, the director of the DNR was there, the director of the Pheasants Forever was there, so that was a pretty good activity. I went Saturday hunting with the governor's son. Uh, there was probably 70 people went hunting Saturday and then we ended up at Soldier Creek for a winery for a dinner. So that was our afternoon lunch. The governor was there, bought some wine. So that's a pretty nice place. Uh, I think the governor's group shot 29 pheasants. And we got 10. So we had some fun activities to do this weekend. You guys are doing the hard stuff. And Mark and I got to do some <laughs> easy stuff. <laughs> Bob had to trail, make a trail for the dogs. And nice out in the weekend, we got lots of wood. Speaking of did you really catch the release or did you scare him? I scared most of them. Uh, I want to kind of add on to what Keith said. It was a great event. I want to thank the local chapter of Pheasants Forever. They did an outstanding job organizing this event on very short notice. It was well organized, well run, great turnout, a lot of people attended, and it was a great opportunity to showcase what Washington County has.